Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video and another shout out to Integrity Knives who sent this knife along for review. So I have here a Civivi. Uh, they're still doing the same, the stickers and the uh, micard I mean the microfiber cloth. So that's nice to see. Uh, let me get the knife in question. This is the Civivi Brazen in Burgundy, I guess. Uh, nice looking knife and uh, one that I was a little remiss on not getting. In fact, uh, a while back I was doing a, a dis budget discussion and I said something about 14C28 and how I'd like to see it a lot more. And a number of you mentioned the Brazen and so it was on my list of, of knives that I was really interested in. So when Integrity Knives reached out to me and wanted to uh, do a couple of videos, I said, hey, do you have a Civivi Brazen? They were happy to send it along. And I have to say, I've only had this for a little while, but I am pretty enamored with it. Um, there's a lot that this knife does really, really right. Now, there are a couple little things that uh, that I'd like to see done differently. And I'm certainly, and, and one of the things I want to do is do this video a little bit differently. So what I've got on that you can't see out here, okay, are some of my very favorite budget knives. And I'm going to just throw them in. I'm not going to have a long discussion about each one. What I want you guys to do is down in the comments, let me know if you'd like to see some side-by-side -side comparison videos between this and a couple of other really, really good classic budget knives. All right, so that's where we're going. Uh, just to, in the main time a reminder that integrity knives is one of the few retailers that still has these in stock especially if you're watching this in canada and you don't have a civivi brazen there's a great place to go ahead and pick one up so big big thank you to integrity knives and uh go over there check out their stock they definitely have some really good prices and they do have some brazens in stock i actually reached out to my other sort of my usual suspects you guys know white mountain knives and southern edge knife works neither one of them had any and so i was like great i really wanted to get one after a number of you had made recommendations about that anyway let's get back to the knife itself with a quick rundown on you know specs and then i want to bring in some comparisons uh, as as uh that go along with the question I asked, which knives would you like to see me compare this to? Because I do think this belongs on the short list of really, really good budget knives. So 14, 14C28 and drop point blade with a bead blasted finish, very thin, very slicey blade, bit of jimping, thumb stud here. Now, the only thing I don't like about this blade is the... Um, is that bead blasted finish. It looks fine, actually it looks pretty decent, but you guys know I generally, you know, one, it's a little bit of a cheaper way to finish a blade. I prefer just a plain satin finish, even a stone wash I like a little better than bead blast, but uh, 14C28N is pretty unstainless, okay, or I guess pretty, <laughs> pretty stainless, I meant to say. <laughs> I meant to say unrusting, and I don't know, I just kind of stuck my words together there. Um, so it's not a huge concern for rust. Normally, that's why I don't like uh, bead blast finishes, but I also find they're just a little underwhelming. Anyway, that's fine. The performance-wise, this blade is fantastic, and it looks pretty good. I just think it could look a little bit better if it weren't for if it didn't have the the bead blasted coating. It's a liner lock, as you can see. It is on bearings. I have to comment on the action on this knife. It is really really good. Uh, Civivi is known for really good actions, but this one is even more drop shutty than most of the Civivis I've had recently. So I've got to give a little bit of credit for that that's very very nice and this is right out of the the package like i haven't had to do anything with this at all so imagine how smooth this could be if i you know loosened off the pivot cleaned it out a little bit and dropped some kpl in there uh, by the way you know i don't mean to be too much of a shill but uh, KPL at uh, integrity knives is like 19 bucks so that's a pretty good deal um, back to the knife g10 handles G10 backspacer, deep carry clip with flush screws, by the way, which is very nice to see. There is some internal milling that you can see right there now to lighten things up a bit. And it does lighten things up a little. This is 3.7 ounces, which is not bad at all for a carry knife. Now, before I get into the rest of the size and weight, I want to... Um, I want to show you a couple of comparisons and I'm going to invite you guys to comment down below uh, which would you like to see sort of a side-by-side -side comparison. I think this seems like a pretty natural comparison. Both popular overseas companies, very, very popular model. And so that's why I think 
you know, I think this can go head to head with some of these really, really classic popular budget folders. And so that's why I'm, I'm putting the question out there. I want to know where I should compare. So this is a CJRB Feldspar. This, of course, is the White Mountain Knives exclusive of the Feldspar. And uh, that burgundy micarta is really, really cool. Anyway, get that out of the way. Let's bring in another. Here is the Rat Model 1. Uh, this, of course, is D2 with the sort of faux, it's not It's not fake carbon fiber, it's like a carbon fiber sticker over G10. Uh, well, maybe it isn't, maybe it's just cheap carbon fiber. Um, anyway, uh, I think these might, be, these, these might be full carbon fiber, it's just kind of cheap looking carbon fiber. Nonetheless, I could, you can see that there's a lot of similarity here. The, the uh, rat one is a little bigger, a little more inclined toward harder use. So this may not be the very best comparison, but I do think um, still a pretty interesting option. The Real Steel H6, another fantastic budget model. Uh, very, very good, very heavy duty. Uh, that would be the biggest, again, difference between these two. We've got the Spyderco Tenacious. This, of course, is the S35VN FRN version. Uh, I would be more thinking along the lines of the standard Tenacious with uh, ACR13 MOV. Uh, then, of course, the steel would be the big winner here. So uh, this is a tough call, but the value, I think, is pretty good here. Like these, I think, go for around $90, the S35VN version. Um, and you know you can pick up one of these for i think around forty dollars uh, now uh, those are american prices by the way um on integrity knives i think these are probably about 70 bucks which is actually a pretty close equivalent uh finally we've got the bird raven 2. Uh, again this is another fairly heavy duty knife the ergonomics on this are just fantastic the blade length is a little short but uh, this is a better knife than it, it gets credit for. This is a really, really nice option. Okay, let's get all those out of the way. So those are a few of the main sort of budget knives that, that sprung to mind as I was looking at this. Um, I, I think this really does, you know, kind of hold its own, even compared to some of those sort of budget classics that we all know and love. And that's where this knife really shines to me. Like, this is just a great standard all around EDC knife. The, 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 oh, I better hit size and weight. I haven't done that yet. This is eight inches overall, three and seven sixteenths on the blade, four and a half inches when closed. So four and a half inches when closed. Man, that action is enjoyable. I'll just say that one more time. Three and a half inches of grip area. So it fits my hand really well. But if you have really, really big hands, that could be just a little bit small for you. 3.7 ounces, I already mentioned. And so, yeah, I, I really, really like the size and weight on this. This strikes me as a really, really excellent EDC option. Uh, so very impressive overall. Again, the action is one of the, the things that I really enjoy about this. The size is great. The blade steel is great. The overall material are pretty nice it's comfortable in hand so on first blush I like this a whole lot and and you know I'm, I'm a little remiss in not having one earlier because this is really really great and I love it when a company like Civivi does something that's just a little simpler like it you know they do a lot of stuff that's that's fancier and has you know cool designs and, and some interesting stuff I like Civivi a lot as a company in general um, this particular option is a little more plain Jane but I think that makes it more broadly appealing right that's what puts it in the category with the feldspar and the rat and the tenacious so uh, there you go guys let me know what you think down in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to check out Integrity Knives and let them know that I sent you over there if you can in any way. Go ahead and give them a follow on Instagram as well. I'll put the Instagram and the website down below as well as my usual channel sponsors. They'll be a little bit lower, especially, you know, I know a number of you are from the U.S. and so it may not make sense to use a Canadian retailer. But even if you are from the U.S., check it out because with the exchange rate, you may still get a good deal. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon.